Being surrounded by New York City's towering skyscrapers and being amidst the sheer amount of buildings, one easily feels lonely. As a Chinese artist coming to New York City to develop her career, Fu Xiao can relate to that feeling. Inspired by her observations of the city and the experience of psychological adaptation, she pushed the limits of geometric abstraction and created a series of simple geometric sculpture works that minimized the cityscape and presented her view of the relationship between a city's environment and its people, spaces, and structures. So every day, every day when I'm walking on the street or, you know, every moment when I'm feeling is about the, the urban life. So I always observe like the, the cityscape. So I think geometrical form is the most foundation form in the, every kind of form. Mm -hmm. And also I feel the relationship between the people in the urban area is also like, like very sharp, like a little pointy and, you know, keep you, you know, a sort of distance between each other. Fu Xiao would like to see all kinds of viewers to interact with her works and find enjoyment from them. A month ago, when she presented two works of her, Pixel World and I Have a Dream at the Arts in Bushwick Open Studios, she invited people to play with her art. One is this, it's called Pixel World. This, is, this was installed outside on the street. And this one is definitely like a large amount of sight. People can walk among it and some kids they were playing <laughs> with my blocks and then build up their, their own citizens. I really love the public to join to my work. The other uh, installation that I did was in, inside this, this studio and that one was also like visually it has really strong effect. I you know use the limited environment to create the best work that I can do. When people see it it, it, you know, people just walk around it and experience that. Fu Xiao's obsession with geometric forms and compositions expanded beyond installations and sculpture to other artistic fields. In her series of ink art drawings, she still utilizes geometric shapes such as circles and squares, where line segments intersect and the angles are formed. This series of drawings that I made since uh, when I just moved to New York, at that time, I felt really, you know, lost, and I felt this kind of texture to let the to let the ink flow with the paper can present my my feeling like really, you know, I don't know where to go, and and this kind of effect really affected me. I combined the organic shape with the geometric form because after I moved here, I realized that people, like human beings, are are also like organic shape. So I combine the organic shape with the city life, with a you know sharp edge together, and then you know to transfer, transfer to a new different kind of form. For more information from Sanovision English Channel, you can find us online at en.sanovision.net. Reporting for Sanovision Journal, I'm Jane Stone.